Your body is carrying a very complex mechanism of memory. You think it is not gathering memory with whatever you touch and feel and relate with. If you create a lot of contradictory memory in your system, you will see life will tell later that you will have everything but you feel like you have nothing because it's confused. My name is Azeem, I am a first year student uh, pursuing BCom honors. So uh, basically we all know that uh, at this age we get into a relationship, then we broke up. Uh, so there was one of my friend uh, recently who broke up and he was like, he asked me to give him some advice on how to move on and how to cope up with things. So being of the same age, I cannot advise him because I don't know how to move on. So my question is that how to move on after that situation? Well, somebody else has moved on. Even if you stay in the same place, distance will happen. See, let us understand this in terms of life, not in terms of trend, not in terms of morality, not in terms of right and wrong, but in terms of life. When I say in terms of life, Azim, do you remember how your great, 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 ten generations ago, how your grandfather looked like? No. No. But his nose is sitting on your face, yes, yes. or no? Yes. yes. So is it true that your body has a tremendous amount of memory? Hmm? Yes. This memory is on many different levels. There is an evolutionary memory, there is genetic memory, there is a karmic memory, there are conscious levels of memory and unconscious levels of memories, articulate and inarticulate levels of memories. But if your great-grandfather's nose has to sit on your face, Obviously, your body is carrying a very complex mechanism of memory, isn't it? Yes. So this body, if it is capable of such a complex sense of memory, you think it is not gathering memory with whatever you touch and feel and relate with? You yeah. think or… you think so or no? Yes. It does. So it is gathering an enormous amount of memory. This is how you know. See, how to go up the steps, how to go down the steps, it looks very simple. But it's not simple, it's very complex. Your body has to remember, otherwise it cannot go up and go down so simply. Well, today the sports people are talking about muscle memory, building memory into their system so that the sport can be executed at a certain level of efficiency. So this is not only for sport, this is not only for specific activity. Every day you are imbibing so much memory and this memory, if there is a certain kind of congruence to this memory, if there is a certain kind of cohesiveness to this memory, this memory will become productive. If there is a certain level of chaos to this memory, then you may know everything, but this memory will work against you because it's contradictory and conflicting within itself. When you say a relationship and when your friend asks you this question, the question itself is coming because it matters, isn't it? Yes. If you didn't matter, you could have just forgotten about it and gone on like old pair of shoes. But it matters because you invested your thought, your emotion and maybe even your body. Once you've invested these three things, there is a profound sense of memory about that. If you create a lot of contradictory memory in your system, you will see life will tell later that you will have everything but you feel like you have nothing because it's confused and it's joyless, it doesn't have exuberance. It's very important young people understand the mechanism of what you have been given. If this was just a lump of flesh, you could have done whatever the hell you want with it, but this is a very sophisticated machine. 
If you treat it sensitively, it can do things in a phenomenal way. Otherwise, it'll do mediocre things. Suppose I gave you, let's say you know nothing about computers. I gave you, let's say, Apple Air. Have you seen this model? Yeah. Very thin and sharp. I gave you this, but you don't know what it is. You took it home and started chopping cucumbers. It works very well. <laughs> it works very well. But isn't it a tragedy that you're using a computer to chop cucumber? Nothing wrong with a cucumber, but something definitely wrong with you, isn't it? Yes. Hello? Yes. Something very fundamentally wrong with you, when you do not understand the significance of what you have on your hands, all significant things will go waste. So, before not just other human beings, I'm saying before you touch, involve yourself in anything, you must see what is the level of involvement you wish, you must see where do you want to take this, you must also see what are the different impacts it'll have upon you, whether this will work well for this life or work against this life, you must consider. Otherwise, you will become a loose life. Loose, I'm not using the word loose in terms of morality, I'm just talking about loose in terms of not able to fulfill the direction in which you wish to go in your life. Bringing some integrity to this, Intellectual integrity, emotional integrity and physical integrity to your life is very, very important. Well, beyond that, if something goes wrong, you just have to understand when you came alone, when you were born, you came alone and when you die, you will go alone. Thank you so much.